In this video, I want to introduce you to the official Modic Zapier integration that'll help you build amazing zaps connected to your Modic instance. Before we start, there's a couple of things you need to make sure that you have over at your own Modic instance. So I'm over here at my blog. I'm going to click on the settings gear and click on configuration. Click on API settings. You'll need to make sure the API is turned to yes and that the enable HTTP basic auth is also set to yes. Both of those need to be set to yes. All right. Let's head over to Zapier. If you don't have a Zapier account, you can get one for free just by signing up. And then you'll be able to use the official Modic integration on Zapier. What you're seeing on the screen is an invite. It hasn't gone public yet. By the time you're watching this video, it should have. I'm going to accept the invite and build a Zap. I've already built one, but I'm going to build another one so you can see how easy it is to do. I'm going to make a Zap. And the Modic beta is listed here because I accepted the invitation. Once it goes live, you'll be able to just search for it right here. I'm going to click Modic. And now I'm given a number of actions that are going to be performed on my site. Submit a form, open an email, create a contact, page hit, updated contact, etc. So I'm just going to go submit a form and click Save and Continue. You'll notice over here on the left, there's a nice workflow here that's going to keep all of these actions in order and help me see when I'm ready. I've already added an account, but I'm going to go ahead and add it again. My username, password, URL of my Modic instance. And it's going to tell me that I've connected the account. Click Save and Continue. And now I choose a form. It's going and grabbing the forms right out of my Modic install. There they are. I'm going to click Contact Rod. Click Continue. And I'll click Fetch and Continue. It's going to grab all of the form. I can view my form, and there it is, just to make sure it's all right, and it is. Scroll down and click Continue. So now I've set up the trigger. When I submit the form, then, I need to choose a bunch of actions. So what you can do here is choose a Modic app, one of the built-in apps, or indeed any app associated with Zapier. I'm just going to send myself an email when somebody fills out my form. So we've got our email set up. Let's set up the template. And the neat thing here is we can use tokens from our form. So two, I'm just going to put this to myself. But here I'm going to say contact first name, space, contact last name, has filled out the contact form. So you're already seeing the power of the Zapier integration here. In the body, I can simply list all of my fields. Contact first name. I can include the form ID, the IP address, some other information from the form itself. You can see for yourself that all of this information is listed here for me. I can add an attachment. Once again, I can even put their first and last name in here. Contact first name. Contact last name. And then the reply to can be their email address. Making this a really, really good email that I can get their information and simply hit reply if I want to. I'm going to click continue, create and continue, and we're ready to go. Name my zap and turn it on. Here's the email I got with the test. So let's go fill out the form and see what happens. I'm over here at my blog, contact Rod, and I just filled out the form. Let's take a look at the results. Now what I'm seeing with Zapier is that it might take just a few minutes. So here is the zap here. Let's go ahead and see the task history. These are from my previous tests. Let's see how long it takes for this new one to come through. And I'll be right back. All right, so that came in at 4.49, which is about two and a half minutes after the actual form was filled out. 
that's not too bad at all. I'm seeing somewhere between a minute and a half to two and a half minutes on these notifications. Let's take a look at the email I got from the integration. As you can see on the screen, the first and last name are up in the subject line. The from email is testing at email.com, which of course doesn't work. But the content of the form is right there in my email, coming from the tokens in Zapier that look at my form in Modic. So that's the Zapier integration to Modic.